Hey everyone, a screen adaptation of popular love novels, classic tales with the crime angel and animated miniseries about little Groot and then documentary about predators. That's what fall has in store for us. Today I will tell you about 5 interesting movies. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes. And let's get started. The world has invented a test that determines whether people are really love with each other by ripping off their fingernails. Anna works at a mysterious institute designed to test the precision of love and the most disparate couples. Anna, J.C. Beckley, has a positive result, although she does not love her husband, Jeremy Allen White. The hero then becomes Travers, Ritz Ahmed, assistant instructor at the Skyfic Institute to figure out how the test works. English language featured the debut of Christos Nico, the second director of the Yorgos Lightmas early films. Release date November 3rd, 2023. Take your time. I love her hair. It's soft. It's nice on her. It's nice. The next one is historical drama. The Danish king sends his best knight to curb the wildlands as far as his hand can reach. But here, behind the walls of hind castles, the laws are different. The local princes are in no hurry to obey the king's vassal. They themselves decided who will cultivate their lands and who will rest in the town forever. The conflict is aggravated by a beautiful maiden promised by her father to the local federal lord to keep hers into loose honor. To save her is to condemn oneself to certain doom. But where the second dead politician returns, the true knight drops his word. Welcome to Helgos. Do we have to build the I will build the Kongs first in the It's fantastic that you're going with. David Fincher returns to his favorite serial killer theme. Fincher's new project for Netflix is an adaptation of graphic novels to drop by Luke Jackman and written by Alexis Nolan. Ekemets, his comics are based on Walter Hill's Unstoppable, for example. The director had been developing the film since 2007 and Brad Pitt was supposed to play the late role in seat of Michael Fassbender. A high-class assassin, Michael Fassbender, prone to misanthropic, philosophian is waiting for a victim in Paris. When things doesn't go according to plan, he is becoming a target himself and sets out to deal with his own custom. The next one is science fiction movie by Bertrand Banella, St. Lauren, Style is Me, with a time period from 1910 to 2044. The main characters, Leah Sidex, George McKay, are asked to undergo a producer to cleanse their DNA of past lives. The screenplay is based on Henry James' short story, The Beast in the Jungle. Fear of intimacy, fear of being rejected, fear of independent disaster, much more elevated in the era of climate collapse. Banella shuffles our prophecies with the unusual, slightly snobbish ecclutomy, but it's not a still life at all. In the best moment. <laughs> And the last one, the long-awaited final of the legendary anime. For many years, humanity has been fighting the titans, huge creatures, after long struggles. The remnants of humanity built a high wall that surrounded the country of a couple, thought which the titans could not pass. The walls that protected the humans have finally fallen. The army of colossal titans begin the death march across the continents, and people continue to resist them. And that's all for now, folks. Subscribe and like, please. And I will see you. Bye bye, everybody, guys.
事切れる前はホッとするのかもなこれで自由に